What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Southampton Career Mode here today on FIFA 21. And today's episode, we are going to be taking on second place West Ham United after a brilliant start to their campaign. They sit second on 15 points and as you can see, we are currently in fourth place after six games with 14 points. So just a point behind West Ham and can obviously go above them with a win here and continue on our great run of form towards the start of this season. And our man, Luis Abbe Suarez on seven goals. Uh, top goal scorer in the league so far. Sebastian Hall are on six and Bowen on four. So this is going to be, um, hopefully, a goal-scoring event here. And both sides, well, maybe not for us both sides, but for the uh, neutrals and the entertainment, both sides can put together some good attacking football. Um, but we'll be doing our best, of course. This is the lineup that we will be going with, and we're going to be playing the full 90 minutes. So let's get into this one. This game, obviously, is going to be at St. Mary's, a home game for us. So we are going to be looking to take all three points from West Ham, but a difficult one, I'm sure, lays ahead for us. Um, before we get into the kickoff, though, I just want to quickly say about last episode, the reason why there was no commentary over it is because I was I recorded the video and then went to record the audio. Obviously, the reason... the how um, The... The way I do that is um, by rendering out a video, watching that video and commentating over it with what I wanted to say and then putting the commentary onto the rendered video and then re-rendering it back out again to create the actual final video. Uh, the problem with that was that after the editing, I'd somehow messed it up and there were still clips in there that shouldn't have been in. So I then had to then go out, take them out, re-edit the whole video, make sure everything that I wanted to be involved in the video was involved in the video, then re-render the video again. And that's why we had the problem that it took way too long and I wanted to get the episode out. So I didn't actually put any commentary on top of that. Um, but I thought I'd give my little explanation at the start of this game. Um, so people who actually like to watch the full games can get that explanation and they understand why. Um, the last episode didn't have any actual commentary on it from me, but um, we'll be commentating live from now on. I think it should be a little bit easier for me to do these live comed rather than trying to record them. And then it was just an energy thing for me because I felt m like I had more energy if I didn't um, live com them um, because obviously work and stuff like that. But anyway, let's uh, let's jump into this game and it's not been a bad start by us. We've got our mater here down the uh, left-hand side. Cresswell comes over to and starts any sort of attack. And then we'll, in fact, get the tackle in. And, uh, yeah, so. Oh, he's going to get in here. Bowen. And there's a man across. But great defending by Bednarak. Bednarak has just smashed that ball along downfield. And it's going to find Suarez. <laughs> oh, my God. So close. It's a good tackle by Van der Housen, and he's going to slip the channel here for Ihataren. And he's going to leave the West Ham defender beautifully here, Ihataren. And he's going to find Suarez, who's shots blocked. He do pick the possession up again. Almeida's just on side there. We'll try and spin away. Ward Prowse waiting on the edge of the box, and it's crepping Diato almost on the first time. Finesse finish, but Fabianski sprawling across his goal. Just gets his fingertips on and gets around the post. But it's a really good effort from Crepin Diata there. Creeping up in the middle of the park. Ward Prowse to Kakaret. Now Diata looking for Suarez. Takes it in his stride. Right foot effort saved and smashed home by Almeida. These two, these two players have been absolutely phenomenal for us at the start of the season. Suarez and Almeida. And it's Suarez's first opportunity here that he just hits... And thrashes it a goal. Good save of the goalkeeper. But Almeida's going to latch on to the loose one. And puts his foot right through the back of that ball. Into the back of the net. For 1-0. And our brilliant start to this season continues. No slow starts at last. And got off to a much better start in this game. Controlling the game. And uh, heading towards three points here against West Ham. Ikhateren trying to... Win that ball back. And referee says that's a fair challenge. I like this ref. He had to now down the left-hand side after dispossessing the midfielder. Can he cut back? He can. He needs to find a cross. Diata attacked it. I mean, he's gone for another sparkling volley. But this time it's blocked. Didn't really have the whip on it that it did in the first one. And it is half-time here with us leading by a goal to nil. 
Suchek for West Ham. Kakared just absolutely harassing him there. The police might want to get involved in that one. Here's Almeida. Diaz is making that runner behind. We'll slip him, but it's uh, too long, really, and straight to Fabianski. <laughs> Let's make this change. We're going to bring on Ricky Puig and take off Thiago Almeida, the goal scorer. Give him a little rest. We've got some big games coming up. So uh, we'll take him off here, make sure no injuries happen. And our play now are very good football from Thiago Almeida and hopefully the winning goal. Ricky Puig, though, on. Let's see what he's got in his locker. And immediately he's going to clip that ball behind for Suarez, whose pace gets him there, but he's just couldn't get around Denea. Otherwise, he would have been in. Almost a great immediate start for Ricky Puig. And Suarez has got this ball back here. It's Puig again. He's looking for that dink ball. And Cresswell goes back to Fabianski. West Ham are looking shite. Sebastian Haller has dropped very deep here to try and get involved. And it's not working for him. Kakaret's picked it up. Suarez can't find a ball around the corner for Ricky Buig. There's Haller again. But look at Bednarak. Just on him straight away. No room for the striker. Six goals this season in form. But doesn't look at all like he is right now. Kakaret though. Brilliant. A little bit of movement from him. And he's going to find Diata. Cross is probably too close, and I don't know why my uh, accent went completely wrong. That's not my accent. Picked up the wrong one for a second, but it is a corner. Changes for West Ham as David Moyes, the ginger battles again. There's so many ginger managers now, thanks to me. I've really uh, brought those numbers up to something respectable. Here's Ward Prowse's ball back into the box, and it's Declan Rice's header who's going to clip it away. 75 minutes on the clock in this one. Still 1 0 up, thanks to Thiago Almeida. And uh, heading towards those points, here's Puig, who replaced Diago Almeida, and Kakaret. Suarez! That's, uh, that's not close at all. Ward Prowse with a nice little interception. Is he Hatharen? We'll have the pace to stay away here from the defender, and his three in the box for him to look for. One of them, Suarez! Couldn't control his header. Bednarak tight on Sebastian Haller. Diata spinning, waiting, and slipping in the line for Walker Peters. Cross is good again and attacked, and it's going to finally hatter him, but blocked by the defender. Ball in the air, and I'm sure Suarez is about to get flagged offside because he went for the ball instead of Walt Prowse, and I don't understand why the AI decides to do that to you. Uh, the right moment, look at this. The ball's there, there's the header. Three players clearly offside, and one player coming into the box that I wanted to try and control. It wouldn't let me. It gave me Suarez instead. He, of course, was offside. But five minutes to go now. We are crunching down these numbers. And that's going to get flicked by Haller, and no danger still here. This has been such a casual defensive game for us. We've looked very comfortable. West Ham haven't done enough, really. And uh, just that I made a goal, but... West Ham need to turn it up a little bit. Here's Declan Rice, and there's room, too much room over here for Masuaku. And look at that, absolutely opened up with two minutes to go. What happened there? I have no idea. Defensive dissimulation, and it is 1-1. Where is the right back? Where is Walker Peters here? What? Why is he ahead of Crepin Diata? What, what was he doing there? Where was he going? What was the plan for our right back? In the 88th minute of the game, we are winning 1-0. Why did our right back disappear up the pitch? I have no idea. And we find ourselves back level and possibly now dropping two points here against West Ham in a game we should be taking all three, in all honesty. That's their first opportunity. Maybe we can go and steal it back here with Crepin Diata. Suarez still hasn't got a goal today. Ooh. That might have dropped to him if the defender didn't touch it. If spots and maybes. Unfortunately, you don't get points for if spots and maybes. That's a really bad ball. He might give us one more job opportunity here. It's Puig who has it. And it's a good tackle by Michael Dawson. And that is the final whistle for this one. A disappointing 1-1 draw. We've let this one slip away at the last second. We haven't finished West Ham off when we have the opportunities. But David Moyes' men, after a good start to the season... We'll come here and take a point, which was probably their, uh, probably their goal at the start of the day. And, but for us, it's disappointing. 
and the next couple of games are quite difficult. So it's the first of the month and we get our monthly update for our youth players here. And um, as you can see, this is what we've got going on. This guy is not very good at football and he's never going to make it. Why is he here? Fuck knows. Let's get rid of him. Release youth player. Goodbye, Kaufman. Uh, but this guy, 60 rated 16 year old from uh, China. One of the guys we picked up recently. Um, he's got 68 to 88 potential and he's got 74 pace. So there is best stats for him, I guess. Um, he is a three star, three star, five foot seven, right footed, right midfielder. Um, he looks like he could be okay, but we're going to obviously see if we can get something better because 60 rate 16 is where you want to be, but the potential there isn't quite what we would be hoping for. And uh, we are going to advance forward here. Our next game is against Brighton and Hove Albion in the league. We have moved up to third after 17 games now and uh, receiving a couple of emails here as players leave for international duty, as you can see there, or Prao Shane Long and Jan Bednarak all called up to their international sides. Uh, Chile have offered us the manager's job as well, which we're not going to be looking at. And Shane Long and Bertrand have been coming in. Uh, Bertrand wants a new contract, we'll say in the future. We'll get to that eventually. And um, Shane Long's asking to get in the team. Uh, probably not, though, Shane. Stay on the bench, kid. Uh, after this game, though, it is a big one. We'll be taking on Liverpool after this uh, week rest here. We'll be taking on Liverpool after that and then... That's going to be this episode. Next episode is probably just going to be this double header against Arsenal and Chelsea. We'll play both these games. Um, but a couple of big games there to look forward to, as well as a few more in the episode after that as well, particularly this one. So, so a couple of big games still to be played here uh, for us. And uh, Brighton up next on the 3rd of October. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. Brighton. Brighton? Who the fuck are Brighton? Brighton have had a terrible start to the season. They are 19th in the league right now. Um, and obviously not putting results together. The, uh, the scouting report has shown that they might possibly be playing five at the back here. With Lamptey starting a right back. And then a two in the middle with three up top. So let's go ahead and we're going to sim this game and jump in if we have to. So let's go ahead and use that feature right now. It's also going to give me... The chance to talk a little bit more about the series, what I want to do with it, and things like that. So if you're watching this bit of the video, then that means that you're probably watching every single second of it, which means you're an absolute fucking legend. Um, so I would like to hear your opinions, because legend opinions have a lot more meaning to me than the average person. Um, but do you guys want to see this feature utilize a little bit more? We can use this quick sim to not have to play so many games in the episode, but get through the season a little bit quicker because obviously I'm not banging out daily episodes. So maybe a quick sim to the smaller games in the league and jumping in um, for the last 20 minutes or so. Or would you like me to play every single second or maybe use the quick sim feature? Just let me know in the comments. Just let me know and um, I'll do my best to mould the series in the best way you guys want to consume it. I don't mind quick simming and jumping in. In normal career modes that I play not on YouTube, I play every single second of every single one of them. So that's what I normally do. But for YouTube to do that as well, it's going to take way too long for me to get anywhere in the career mode. So maybe the, probably not the best idea to be doing that. But quick simming here against Brian and... Um, we are 25 minutes into this one. I don't think either of us have really had any opportunities on goal. one right now for Brighton, though, was looking dangerous. Number 44, Garis and Depay. Uh, More pie, not Depay. Um, the chances. We're getting a couple of blocks in here. We are at St. Mary's again, though, today. Um, but unfortunately, not off to the best starts. Here is um, Diata. In fact, lose the ball, though. Well, to say the 19th in the league here, Brighton, this is a good start for them. 34 minutes played now. It's been their possession for the most part. Counter-attack, boys. Let's go, let's go. Counter, let's go. Push it. There we go. That's better. Diata, let's go. Cross it. Cross it, Diata. Oh, Suarez is right there, man. Give him the ball. Give him for a tap-in. Work this well, though. Yes, yes, there we go. Smash that, Suarez. Oh, it's a good save. An hour played now, and um, as you can see from the possession stats, uh, we had um, a dominating first half, but Brighton have just had all the ball this second half so far, and possession's now back to level. So, 
not a good start to the second half. They've increased their shots and we've had not many chances. A slow start to the second half, he could say. Um, we probably had a slow start to the first half as well, but let's hope we can go and get a goal pretty soon and maybe not concede here would be nice too. Boom. Oh, motor. Motor down that right-hand side. Move that ball. Kakaret slips. Suarez. Suarez, surely, come on. No, defender tackled. 73rd minute. If we get possession back or the ball goes out of play, we'll jump in. I probably should defend this, though. Good save. Okay, we'll jump in now. Let's go. Five minutes to play here. Free kick for Brighton. Trossard's going to whip it into the area. Jan Bednarak is there. Here's Will Prowse, furthest man forward for us. We need to get someone ahead of him with a bit of pace. Will Prowse is going to slip it. Why has that not gone to Almeida? Suarez battling for it, but that's got to be slipped for Almeida. The wrong player switched to it. And it's going to cost us here because I'm pretty sure Almeida would have been through on goal there and kept away from the defender with his pace, but not to be for us, unfortunately. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two... Added time left only. Two minutes added at the end of this one. It's Adam Lalana. The tackle Bertrand. Referee says no. And the time's going to tick down so much that I don't think we're going to get a chance here to get a, a, a counter-attack off, but they might nick it. It's going to be played in. Headed goals by Dunk and what wide by McCarthy for a 0-0 draw against Brighton. That's not the result we wanted. Maybe we should learn our lesson here. The quick sim in, and maybe leaving the quick sim too late was not the best of ideas. So for the final game of today's episode, we are going to be taking on second place Liverpool in the league. And as you can see, we are fourth after eight games now. 16 points picked up. Liverpool on 17 points. A few things we have to go through first, though. Um, one of them will be our monthly scouting reports. And also, we can see that Ihatarin has completed his training and is now able to change position to a left winger. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And as you can see, that has changed him to an 18-year-old left winger who's left-footed at 77 rated. So there we go. That's the change complete. And hopefully that's going to make his performances a little better in-game because I know when they're playing in position, they do seem to have a little bit better um, performances on pitch. So hopefully that's going to help him out and um, improve. Although he's not doing too bad, but an improvement will be nice. Chinley, let's reject him. Okay, so none of these guys really look any good. Dong Hong, though, we are going to sign Dong Hong. He has got that 94 to 69 potential. 69, haha, -ha. Dong, haha. -ha. Time to sign the Big Cock. That's his nickname. The Big Cock Dong Ha is into the Youth Academy. I've just signed another one. I'm going to have to accidentally. I mean, I, I forgot to scroll down. Complete accident, but I've signed another Chinese kid. Probably going to get kicked out, though. Okay, let's have a look what we've got here. Um, Grigor Christov, let's sign him, 16-year-old, why not? He's got that 94 potential that we like. Oh, Kuzman Naumov as well, he's got that 94-77 potential, which is uh, nice. We're going to sign him up, let's see what he's got about him. And uh, nothing else here from the Bulgarians, so I'll go ahead and reject the rest of them. This guy could be picked up, Ivo Dimitrov, but um, I'm going to reject him for now. Uh, I say for now, it's completely final, we will reject him. He's not going to make it. He's never in the game. Goodbye. And the final scout report is going to be the Englishman. So, uh, Leo Williamson, he's been scouting for two months here. He's got a good overall right now, but his potential is pretty low. 15-year-old with that potential. We'll take it. Sign him up. And reject this guy. Bobby Law. Yeah, why not? Sign him up. I like it. Mm, I like your hair, Jimmy Butler. But um, we should sign this guy just because of Jimmy Butler. I mean, how the fuck is that not Jimmy Butler? Damn, I'm going to reject him, though. It's, it's a shame that he wasn't better at football. Um, a 15-year-old? Yeah, we'll take this guy. Sean Hall, why not? Uh, Reese Harris can nope. And uh, Matthew Goodman is also a nope from me. Leo Williamson. I'm interested to see what his overall to potential is. But you know what? He's never going to be good enough for us. So it's going to be a reject there. Shane Long's still disappointed that we left him out two weeks ago. And he's not He's not letting us uh, get away with that one. I'm going to tell you. Let's just, we have to rotate the squad, Shane. Come on, bro. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Youth Academy guys that we picked up. So we've got this guy, Naumov. Um, yep, yeah, he's one of the good ones. So he can play centre-back or centre-mid at six foot one. Okay, he's got 67 physical, 69 pace. I like him at centre-back, actually. So I think he'll stay centre-back. Um, 51 rated, though. Not the highest. He's only 16, so he's got time on his side. 
Um, and he's got four star skill moves as well with high defensive work rate. Um, could be good. Could be good. I'm not going to lie. He could be good. Um, Kai Pike. He's got that big potential. 1550 rated. Dong Hong, the big cock, has also got 50 rated and that 94 potential 5 foot 11, 5 star skill moves at left midfield. Um, okay, cool, cool. Um, Denmark? No, I think he was already in. Who else? Did we just sign somebody else here? Oh, we. Okay, these guys. What? Bobby Law is 62 rated at 16 with big potential and pace. And he plays right wing. Okay, this guy is going to go straight into a development program. Let's see what we can improve here for him. Nine weeks is the ETA. Uh, what do we want to improve? I think we kind of want to improve actually his work re work rate as well as his crossing. So I'm going to, um, for the next nine weeks, train him as a wide winger just because that improves his attacking work rate, his stamina, agility, crossing, um, sprint speed, all things, uh, dribbling and ball control, everything we want this man to be good at is going to be getting trained right now. So that's what we are going to be selecting for his development plan. Um, I could promote him to the senior team right now, um, but I'm going to give him a month with the youths and let him settle before anything else. 52 rated Grigor Hristov as well. And also we picked up Sean Hall, who has uh, 69 to 94 potential. He is a right winger as well. He's only 15 and 51 rated. So there's the youth guys. Um, let me know if you think any of them guys will actually make it into the series, because obviously... Uh, I'm probably going to be doing this series the whole way through unless I somehow smash through it or whatever. But I'd like to keep the series going as well, not just play this uh, with Southampton. I'd like to leave Southampton eventually and go to another club. Um, so uh, that's my plan. But now I was just taking a drink, my bad. Um, but now we've got this game against Liverpool, finally. Let's jump into the final game of the episode. There we go then, at Anfield, let's do this, big away game. This is a real test for us today, this this Liverpool side is strong, they have not put anyone out, um, there's no injuries or anything like that with their team either by the looks of things, they brought in Gabriel Paulista at centre-back, I know he's, uh, he's pretty decent to be fair, probably got like an 80-something rated hasn't he, so he should be okay, Suarez though, I'm going to give him a run around with him. Good tackle, Crepin Diata there, getting back, doing his defensive work, and he'll burst away here, Diata. Down the left-hand side, ball goes in, and Almeida, oh my god, saved by Allison. what a save that is, by the way. I thought Almeida was about to tap us home an early lead, but unfortunately, a good save from Allison and Crepin Diata. Calm down, mate, we don't want Liverpool to sign you next season. They've already took Mane from us, and plenty others. Along the way, Diata might just be the next one. Oh, Henderson's absolutely snapped him. What's going on, boys? Almeida's going to lose it. Where, where's the free kick then, ref? Wow, what a start. What a start. Now they're going to slip Salah in behind. Don't get there. He's going to get there, isn't he? He does get there. Keeps it in. Ball in. Punched by McCarthy. I mean, what a start to this game. Both sides not afraid of going forward. And that's over the top. Go Oh, Paulista. Wow. Wow, what a game. Hendo bringing it back forward for the ball. Bertrand there. But Salah keeps possession. Henderson's going to knock it wide to Alexander-Arnold. Now here's Mo Salah. Naby Keita. Mane. Banarag, brilliant tackle. Kakaret's going to slip it. And De Hatteren just couldn't get there. But it's going to be given away by Alexander-Arnold. Suarez has won it back. De Hatteren. And Arnold with some brilliant defending. Let's give it away. Salah's in. Good save, McCarthy. Abby Keita. And Kakaret with a wonderful, patient defensive challenge. Here's James Ward Prowse. We're just going to knock it in there. Hatherin should get to the byline. Trent's going to be on him. Still a Hatheren, and still a Hatheren, and he couldn't quite get his way through. Robertson, oh, that's a nice little dink ball over the top of the defender. Here's Mane up against our Mane, Krepin Diata. Nanabi Keita, good tackle, Bednarak. Really good tackle, Bednarak. And here's Luis Suarez. 
The only problem is every attack we've had so far has been Hatterham versus Trent, and it's not quite worked out. But Almeida's got around Virgil van Dijk here, and his touch has let him down to your Salison. Quick off his line. Benarak's going to clear his lines, and Suarez has dropped deep, and he's going to find Krep in Diata, and this is... One way to counter-attack, boys. It's Diata. We'll put it along the floor. Almeida's going to score! 1-0 to Southampton at Anfield. And it's that man again, Tiago Almeida. Suarez involved in the build-up. And we lead against Liverpool. Absolute scenes at Anfield. Brilliant from Suarez. Crep in Diata's pace. And Sadio Mane. Lovely low ball in Alisson. Just absolutely all over the place. Doesn't know what to do. The ball is that good. And Almeida... Entering the six-yard box. Just a little touch is all it needs. Get it, goalward, son. And it finds the back of the net. As he breaks away from Paulista, Jurgen Klopp furious now, I'm sure. And Almeida scores his fifth goal of the Premier League season already. Liverpool have got a Champions League game against Atalanta next. And they're going to have to play a lot better. What's wrong with that referee? What is wrong with that man? That's a brilliant tackle by Suarez. Completely dispossesses. Uh, Virgil van Dijk and looks like he might be about to burst in behind this Liverpool defence and the referee says no that's a free kick I mean the only thing that could have been is handball but I don't think he handled it maybe I'm wrong Virgil's then going to take this free kick and Bobby Firmino will knock it down to Jordan Henderson and now Bobby Firmino again and Bednarak oh it's a good tackle but it's so unfortunate that it's found Sadio Mane and there is Jan Bednarak again. Oh my God, the performance from this man this season has been unbelievable. Here's Krep into Yatta. And now Carl Walker-Peters is going to knock it past the defender and go. Liverpool are all over the place here. And Virgil van Dijk is absolutely nowhere to be found. It's Walker-Peters, so much room. Oh, and they tried to just knock it across. I really just ran out of ideas there. I'm not sure. I guess panicked. I guess we panicked. We couldn't finish the move off. And Dyke's gone off. That's great news for us. I mean, he didn't have a great game anyway, but it's good news for us, I guess. He's not going to score a last-minute bullet header. There's Jamie Vardy, though. He's off the bench. Milner, great tackle, though, by Bednarak again. And now here is Diata. And look at the room he's got ahead of Robertson, who is tired and never going to catch him. And he knows that. We've got men to pick out. We're going to pull it back here. This time, Dewey Hatherin. Oh, it's gone wide. Oh, I thought that was 2-0. I was so confident that was about to... Nestle in the bottom corner, and when I saw the net bulging, I thought, yes, but no. Come on, we're gonna we need to get lucky here. I made it. What a ball! What a ball by Almeida! Can well can he stay away? No, and Alexander Arnold just It's Mo Salah for four. And Alexander Arnold now back to Mo Salah. Thiago holding it up. Edge of the area finds Jordan Henderson into the box to Vardy and Mo Salah. Oh, brilliant. Van Housen just edged him away from the contact there. Otherwise, Mo Salah surely should have been scoring. Or would have been scoring. I know he's going to win a free kick, though. Mo Salah stands over this one 22 yards out. At a very weird angle. Alexander-Arnold over there as well now. Mane, but it's going to be Salah off the post. And away by Bertrand. Doku, round the corner. Almeida, we've got... Well, no, what are you doing? I, I pressed the button to knock it out of his feet. And he's turned back instead. The AI screwing me. Thiago chips it up. What are you... What? Chips it up. Good tackle. Kakarets there. We're not getting done here. Cantwell, slip it. Let's go, Doku. Fresh legs. Finish this game off. 2-0. Come on, boys. It's Doku through. Suarez is square. Man coming in back post. Doku puts it across. Suarez is on his heels. Why is he not on that? Come on, man. We need to finish the game off. Su Salah's giving back to Suarez. He wants us to win. Matip heads away. Ball in the air. Headed away by Paulista. Kakaret. Doku. A yard out. Come on, surely now. No. Back to Allison. We've got two minutes left here. Liverpool could still equalise and we can't get the ball over the line for a second time. Here's Mo Salah. Surely no. He's going to find Jamie Vardy who's got pace. Bring him down, Reggie. Oh, Reggie's quick. We're okay. We're okay. And we've got the victory. Thank God for that. Wow, what a game. That was unreal. We have got the victory at Anfield though, boys. What a result that is. What a result over Klopp's men. We didn't look the best, but we got it done. And that's a huge, huge three-point statement made to the rest of the league. Thank you very much for watching this one, boys. That's going to do it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon.